Hello bookish friends, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel and today we're doing my September TBR. First things first, I'm going to read Rain Shadow Road by Lisa Claypas. Claypas? Claypas? Claypas. I think I usually say Claypas. I don't know how you actually say her name. Ignore my nails, guys. Okay. Um, they're, they need to be redone. So just ignore those. Yeah. Okay. We'll hide them. Um, so I got this as a blind date with a book from Love Sweet Arrow. And I'm going to do a whole reading vlog on the books that I got in that package. But I'm super excited for this one. I've only read her historical romances. And this seems like it's a magical realism or slightly paranormal set in a contemporary, modern, um, setting. Um, so I'm super excited to get to this one. I completely sucked at the Sarah McLean read-along for last week's, and so I did not read Brazen and the Beast last week like I was supposed to, so gonna be at the top of my TBR for this month including the one that we're reading this week. So these two I will be reading for sure this week because I need to. And then after I read these two I have read every single Sarah McLean book. No I still have to catch up. I lied. Nope. Um, but sometime this month I'll probably start filming my Sarah McLean video and I'm super excited for that. It's going to be a blast. And then, um, this month I kind of want to try and get caught up on The Immortals After Dark and this is the third book in the series, Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night. Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night. I, for some reason, thought I said Winter Deeds on a Winter's Night. Um, anyways, this series is a trip, guys. The first two books were great. I really liked them. Um, a little far-fetched, but, I mean, it's paranormal romance. And, you know what? They're a lot of fun. So, I'm excited to get back into it. This book came in one of the Owl Crate boxes recently, and it's Witchy by Ariel Slamet Rees, and it's just so pretty looking, and Witchy, so I'm assuming it's about witches. I'm all about witches. I love them. It, okay. And I want to get, I want to read more graphic novels, so... We're gonna do this one. And this one actually just came, I think, yesterday. Um, this was in my Scribbler box, and it's Opium and Absinthe by Lydia Kang. And guys, look at this cover. And it takes place in New York of eighteen, yeah, eighteen ninety nine right after Bram Stoker's Dracula came out and this the main character Tilly her sister died and she's convinced that it was a vampire who killed her sister and I'm here for it like this book is getting read this month I'm so excited for it I haven't heard about this book before it came in my scribbler box and um, I need to rectify this. I need to read this. This sounds great. I think it just came out in July. So this next book has been on my shelf for years. My best friend has been trying to get me to read it forever. It's one of her favorite books. Like she, I think she wants to reread it soon. And that is Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. And uh, all I know about this is that it's about sisters, I think they're twins, and their aunt dies and leaves them her estate or something, and I'm assuming it has some sort of thriller, 
or suspense or mystery to it because that's all my best friend really reads. So since I've been trying to read at least one mystery thriller a month um, recently, I'm gonna finally pick this one up and she's gonna be like the happiest person on the planet. And then for the we be booking book club on Facebook. The one of the books, the one of the book of the months is Mexican Gothic by Silvia Moreno Garcia, and honestly, the title and the cover is what really got it for me. Um, I think it's like a horror thriller and it's like got haunted house vibes to it and I've heard that there's really gruesome descriptions so we'll see how I actually deal with that I'm not usually a horror person um I'm I'm a scaredy cat so I like thrillers I like suspense novels but horror, I don't think I've read much horror, if any at all, other than Edgar Allan Poe. And that's because Edgar Allan Poe is like one of my favorite authors of all time. Um, so I'm intrigued, but I'm slightly scared going into this book. I don't know. I almost forgot. But the last book of that I have on my TBR that I know that I have to get through is Save the Cat Writes a Novel by Jessica Brody. I've already read this. I read it, um, I skimmed it when I first got it last like April, I think. April or July, I don't remember. And then I read it in its entirety last October. And the reason why I'm rereading it is one because it's a great reference for writers but me and my friend Katrina we started our own writing podcast or writers podcast uh, a couple weeks ago and we are doing a book club for the podcast um, and the book for September is Save the Cat Writes a Novel and we have a method to our madness because October is Preptober, so we figured we'd study slash discuss and talk about the story beats and everything that is in Save the Cat Writes Novel with all of our other writerly friends right before October, which is Preptober, and this is like great reference for prepping for your novel. So. I'm going to be rereading this. This I can easily skim through since I've already read it and I have, you know, a lot of it like highlighted. Um, so even though it's a reread, I know I'm excited for it because I, this is a great reference for writers. Okay. So this is what's on my September TBR. Leave a comment down below and let me know what's on your TBR for the month. Let me know if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, um, and any recommendations on future books for me to read. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, go ahead. That would be awesome and I'd love you for it. Um, until next time, bye!